Let's have uh, Seth Emerson bat lead off, and then we'll go to uh, Mike Griffith. Hey, Adam, uh, I guess everyone's curious kind of what, what they have you doing on defense, how many different things they have you doing. I guess uh, going off the edge with your hand on the ground, hand off the ground, are you doing star? Like how many different things are you doing and what are you most comfortable doing? Um, honestly, like when you come to the University of Georgia, basically they're going to teach you, uh, they're going to put you in the best predicament where you can play at. Honestly, I play – Basically, from outside linebacker to put my hand on the ground to covering towards when it comes to the star position. So, honestly, like, it just all depends in different game situations. But I'm more comfortable putting put my hand on the ground because at the end of the day, I'm saying get after the quarterback. Adam, uh, I heard talk that you might have run a, a 4 four seven forty and said you could have gone even faster. Is that? Was that the right number? And, and just how fast could you be in that time to run? <laughs> uh, I did run a 447, but honestly, like, I mean, I feel like for most people, they're a bit excited about that, but that's not my approach that I want to have. Uh, honestly, the dream or goal that I'm really pushing for is at least running like a 4 3, weighing around like, you know, two, uh, 250. So, I mean, that's my goal and something I'm still working on. Okay, next we'll go with uh, Mark Weiser and then uh, Davis Baker. Adam, uh, obviously they were just talking about, I guess Seth was talking about you at, at the star. I'm curious uh, how you think you've sharpened your coverage skills. How comfortable are you, uh, you, you know, uh, matching up and, and uh, covering guys? Um, honestly, the star position helped me in like different certain uh, aspect really. Uh, it helped me basically learn how to open my heels, learn to help me teach like even when I'm playing like regular down, when I'm playing the jack or sound position, we have to guard like, you know, certain running backs or the tight ends half the time. It teaches you like to actually know how to slow down and actually not like overrun them because mostly when you play in a star, you see you're guarding like the slot receiver. So probably one of the fastest do on the team most of the time. So, I mean, dealing with that and learning how to play that star position probably was like the best opportunity that helped me out. Adam, did you just say that you wanted to play at 250 this year? Um, I'm trying to work up to 250, knowing how like how practice has been going so far, because right now I'm at 238 right now. So, I mean, it's still somewhere I'm trying to get to. Gotcha. And what do you think that that will do for you this season? Uh, honestly, like just setting the run a little more and just like just having a little extra weight sometimes don't hurt as well. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue now with uh, Anthony Dasher and then Chip Towers. Hey, Adam, good to see you. I was wondering how much have you you gone back and, and watched tape of Lorenzo Carter and, and Leonard Floyd, considering you know they were asked to do a lot of the things you're being asked to do now with the defense as, as far as that outside back and nickel row goes. And what have you learned? If so, what have you learned from watching them? Uh, honestly, I watched them quite a lot actually. Like when I first came here, that was kind of like my role model and like basically a lot of people like comparison. So like you wanted to see like basically if you want to be the best, you want to see what the best did. So honestly, like. A lot of things I do is off of things I've seen, you know, some of Lorenzo or Floyd do as well. Yeah, um, Adam, it, I use this term loosely. I say that I guess the knock on you, you know, obviously you're, uh, yeah, I see all over NFL draft boards and that kind of stuff is that, you know, against the run, you just really haven't had the opportunity to take a lot of reps against the run. How much of a focus has that been for you to sort of prove or try to or, uh, uh, be a, a three down, you know, outside linebacker as opposed to a specialist uh, type of pass rush guy? Um, honestly, it's, it's not so much a proof. It's honestly, uh, I don't know, it made me hungry. Like, it's a lot of, I like a lot of things people, other people say, a lot of people say, you know, he can't do this or, you know, he probably just third down pass rush or something like that. So it's more than just to prove just for them, but like it's more to prove to myself and to really show like what I'm really capable of. Thank you. Okay, we'll go now with uh, Dean Leggy and then uh, Palmer Toms. Adam, I wanted to ask you about pass rushing though real fast so with all the positions that you're going to be playing. Is there a place you'd like to come from? I mean, sometimes it seems like you're on the outside more than any other time, but is the middle okay? Is coming from the middle to the outside, stunning, whatever. What's your most comfortable place to blitz from? Um, 
Uh, honestly, it, it, it don't matter to me. I like, when it comes to pass rushing, that's like second nature to me. Like, I don't know if you're not really an athlete and a baller, like you shouldn't have to choose if you want to come from the outside or inside, you should be able to do on both. You know, along those same lines with the pass rush, I guess a lot of people are looking to you to maybe replace kind of what Aziz did last year. Uh, how much are you looking forward to having a greater amount of opportunity? And, and how much did you and him maybe, you know, talk shop there and, and, and trade ideas in, in terms of pass rushing? Um, honestly, I'll say like last year was like the actual year that like just being with Aziz for here so long and just like really connecting and understanding like there's more to like football in general. So basically, when you are an athlete and you have the ability to like rush and just learning your assignments as well. And honestly, like having Aziz on the other side of me, learning some of his technique and him learning off of me, just learning to get off, use my hands better. I mean, when you can't when you come to the University of Georgia, there's always competition. So like always been in a room where there's other like outside linebackers and learning from them, there's like you always gonna learn something each day. All right, next we'll have Jake Roos and Connor Riley. Yeah, uh, Adam, I just wanted to talk to you about, uh, you know, working with Dan Lanning each and every day. Um, obviously, the defensive coordinator, but the guy who kind of runs your position, you know, how do you feel like he's developed you over the course of your Georgia career? And, uh, you know, how do you feel like that's going to benefit you moving forward into this season and beyond? Uh, honestly, like, I say, like, basically a blessing. Like, there's not many – there are not many defensive players that can say, like, you know, their, their position coach is also the D coordinator. So having your – your defensive uh, coach as your defensive coordinator, he's not only going to teach you how to play outside linebacker, he's going to also teach you how to, like, know what's behind you, what the safety you're doing, what the corner doing, what type of coverage you're in. And honestly, like, there's a lot of people that, like, you know, being the uh, outside linebacker close to the end, like, a lot of people in college don't know, like, so much of what, like, what coverage and where the safety's spinning down or basically, like, you know, anything, like, from a standpoint, like, skill to D-line and everything. Yeah, Adam, you mentioned, you know, the competition that you had and last year you guys had a very loaded outside linebacker room that probably kept your snap count down. How do you think that situation helped you, especially going into this year where you look to be a clear leader at that position? Um, honestly, like, as so, as so far not getting as much snaps as last year, honestly, like, I just keep you hungry. And just being, like, going into, like, you know, being a leader-wise, it just teach you like basically like encourage the players that's basically in because honestly like at the end of the day we, we're we're trying to win and honestly like if I don't help the next person behind me like Nolan and uh, Robert Bill uh, MJ Sherman like helping them guys out then I'm not helping myself out as well. All right, Dane Young and then Ryan Curley. Hi, Adam. Back at Aziz's uh, pro day in the spring, Aziz said that uh, he predicted that you would get 10 sacks, at least 10 sacks in this season. Do you agree with him? <laughs> uh, I mean, he said 10, but like, I mean, I don't know if my goal is unrealistic, but like you, I'm really going for 20. And that's wild to say, but if you go for something smaller, then you're not really getting nothing out of it. Hey, Adam, since you are being kind of thrown around there and not just um, a pass rusher anymore, what, what have you enjoyed the most outside of pass rushing since you've been moved around? <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, like, I say basically dropping the coverage a little more and, like, coming from, like, high school, I was straight the end. So, like, I ain't never really dropping coverage for real. And then just coming to Georgia – having to learn how to like go from the line to actually covering somebody or just standing out in the opening. And like probably the hardest thing in college football is open field tackle. So like the strength in that helped me as well. And then just the, I don't know. And I think feel like also just learning coverage and actually knowing like what, you know, my assignments are even more. All right. We've got time for maybe a couple more. If anyone has a follow-up for Adam. Adam, how much trust did you have in Kirby Smart? We, you've heard some guys ask about, excuse me, the level of competition, staying patient. Can you talk about the trust you had in Coach Smart and Coach Lanning to get you here? Um, honestly, like, 
Kirby Smart had, was a bit role into like basically, you know, helping out with the competition and like letting, you know, knowing how you had to sit out a little too. But when I first came in, I already knew like, I was going to have to compete. And honestly, like, that's what I like. I like competition. I like something that's going to push me to be better. And I don't know, like, being with Coach Smart, he's going to teach you how to be better as an athlete, but also as a better man as well. Adam, what have you seen so far from two young linebackers, Xavier and Sorry and Smile Monday? And I know they may not both be working at outside linebacker, but uh, you know, what have you seen from them? Um, honestly, like the whole freshman class that them came in so far, like the dudes are ready to eat, like they're like really ballers. And honestly, like I never seen such a group that's really just so hunger. And it don't matter what it is or how much they weigh or something. When a coach tells them to do this, like they're they're going to try to do it at their best ability they can. Okay, Adam, thank you very much. Thanks to everyone for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.